Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Just wanted to do an update video on my Gretsch Tennessee Rose. Um, so you may remember I bought this two, three plus years ago. I think it, I think I bought it right after the pandemic. Um, bought this from Nicholson's Music down in Folsom. Um, basically, I, uh, so anyway, I bought this because it was the George Harrison spec guitar. Um, you know, the guitar he made famous at Shea Stadium, Candlestick Park, um, the Help soundtrack, a lot of that stuff. A lot of the 1964-65 tours with the Beatles. Um, but I just found that this guitar with the stock pickups, which were the TV Jones Hylotrons, that they were copying from the original Gretsch Hylotrons. And just the pickups just never really cut through. No matter what I did, it just, they were very dull sounding, which to be fair, I think is um, kind of what the originals kind of sounded like. So what I did do is I did upgrade these. Um, my, the Store Nicholson's, which is a Gretsch dealer, also is a TV Jones dealer. Might as well be, right? Um, and so these are just the TV Jones classic, um, classic Filtertron pickups. Um, these are kind of what they're well known for. I think, um, you know, they're such good um, recreations that even Gretsch on their, on a lot of their models, not all, but a lot of their higher end models do in fact use do in fact use the TV Jones pickups. And I think that's kind of a good um, testimonial to how uh, how good these pickups are, is that the company that you base your pickups on are like, hey, look, your your reproductions are so great, we're just gonna use them on our, on some of our higher end guitars. So, and you know, that is the most common mod for the Gretsch's is just to put in the Filtertron pickups, or the um, TV Jones pickups in. So I'll just kind of give you a little tone sample to run it uh, to run it through. Got everything on full. So right now I'm on the neck pickup, and with this is with the mud the tone switch. Um, this is where I think the tone is off. I think this is with the tone disengaged, so it's you know um, bypassed. And then I think this is where the tone would be at five. Now we'll switch them up. This uh, is uh, the male position, so it's engaging both of these pickups. with the tone disengaged or bypassed. Oops, sorry. This. Now uh, with the tone switched down, so which is engaged about midway. Now we'll go to the bridge pickup with the mud switch all the way on. Bypassed. And now, uh, at the five setting. So I have this guitar, um, it kind of, it's, this is the George Harrison 
the more common version of it, of the Tennessee and Tennessee Rose. Um, this one's actually Chet Atkins emblazoned. Back in early 2000s, uh, my mom and I got my dad uh, Gretsch Tennessee Rose, the non-Chet Atkins one. So it's the full hollow body, um, has the actual real F holes, not these uh, painted on ones. And um, I was just kind of checking out. That's kind of what made me, reminded me that I should have done an update video on this. Um, my dad passed away last November. So I was just kind of looking at that guitar like, okay, just to look over it, check the strings, check everything. Um, I want to take it in to kind of into Nicholson's get, um, get taken care of, set up, you know, get back in playing order. Um, and I noticed that the jack on that one doesn't work. So I think that one's going to need a whole makeover as it were. Um, I think it's got the same kind of pickups. I'm not sure if they're the TV Jones ones on his or if they're the regular Gretsch ones. But um, pro once I do that, it'll probably be a little little ways away. But um, I intend to get that one back in working order when I do. And by the way, it also has very simplistic controls. It has the one switch, has the master volume, and then the two volumes. And that's it. It doesn't have the kill switch. doesn't have the mud switch. It's just got the two Filtertrons, the Bigsby master volume, and then the two volumes for neck and neck and bridge pickups. And that's about it. So once I get that fixed, I think what I'll do is I will, um, again, get fixed, set up, have them fix it, set it up. And then I'll do one video where I'm just playing it, just running through it. Very simple, maybe five minutes. Five, 10 minute video and then maybe I'll even do a shootout between this one and the other one so um, stay tuned for that but uh, that's it uh, thank you and yeah so for anyone that wanted to see what one of these guitars sounds with what the TV Jones classics sounds like that's kind of what this is um, like I said I know there is a Tennessean with that already came stock with the uh, TV Jones in it, the Filtertrons. But um, at the time I bought this, I just wanted the one that had the George Harrison sound. But after playing it long enough, I just kind of like, eh, maybe I do want something that'll cut through the mix a little bit more. Um, I still have the stock pickups. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep those. I'm not selling them but in case I decide I want to, you know... Um, Swap, swap them back or anything. Um, but for now, that's, that's what this is. So, all right. Thank you.